all right welcome back to another video uh today's video we're gonna try to address this um check bsa and abs system um so basically let me give you the backstory before i even start anything i just got off the ship for those that don't know i work on the ship and my car has been sitting for about a hundred days and today well yesterday i cranked it up and the light popped on before i left this light was not on so that means we having an issue here so we're gonna hook up the scan tool to it and we're gonna see what's going on so i erased the codes so if y'all um see codes you first thing you want to do you could take a picture of those codes or you can um erase them and then rescan it that allows you to see if it's a hard code or a soft code if it comes back that means it's a hard code and it needs to be fixed so once i erased them they're still there the abs and traction so what i did i went to the wheel speed sensors and we're gonna read this this is front left front right um rear left and rear right so and we're gonna hit okay all right we're gonna grab these out all right it's not gonna show anything until i get up all right i can't really record this like i want to but as you can see we have a graph on each one front left uh, excuse me rear left rear right and front right all of them are showing a graph whereas front left isn't showing anything so i'm about to drive you're going to see a change so therefore it's not getting a signal so that's telling me that maybe the sensor isn't working right uh the cord that's leading to the sensor might be messed up or something isn't jiving like it's supposed to as you can see sorry for the sun I'm trying to do my best here so y'all can see all right this is what it should look like once you get done um, you have a 10 mil here 10 mil here a 10 mil here and you have one right here going into the sensor Hold the sensor down in there so you have four 10 mils um just for fyi um you want to leave some slack right here and i think that's one reason why mine may have broken in half uh these rubber garments does not fit like it should so i'm just gonna leave mine like this and uh there's no way that anything gonna interfere with it or break it so you want to leave slack right there and have some slack right here. That way, once you turn the wheel left to right, you, it won't snap off or give tension here. All right, one of the lights went off. Um, as you can see, the I guess that's traction light still is still on. So basically, I think that's due to the fact that the car is in, in the air without the tire and but that was the problem there. I could put the scan tool on, but I'm not gonna bore y'all with that because I know the signal is gonna read like it's supposed to. Uh, if this was helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. Now this could work on any car. This ain't just for this Acura TSX. It could be Honda, it could be any other car. And the reason why I use the scan tool because it eliminates me from taking every tire off to see what the problem is once you plug in the scan tool you let the scan tool do the work for you and it's so much easier all right i'll catch y'all on the next one if this was helpful make sure you share this video thanks for watching all right um 
I just wanted to, you know, be transparent about this. So what happened was, as you can see, the attraction light was still on. So I did have to go into my scan tube and erase the code. Now, maybe if you drive it for a little while and it recognize that everything was fixed, it may go out. But here I have my scan tube and I had to go in and clear the fault codes, which was right here. And basically all I did was clear it and as you can see, 